This is a video on how to connect a Phonak TV connector both to a media source like a television or compatible monitor and then also to a pair of compatible Marvel hearing aids from Phonak. The main parts of the TV device are the actual Phonak connector, the AC power adapter pictured here, the power cable, the traditional USB end of the power cable will plug into the wall adapter and the smaller micro USB will plug into the power receptive connector on the back of the TV device. Here you see the back of the TV device. In the middle is the power connection. On the right is the fiber optic cable connection. On the left is the synchronization button to connect the hearing aids. Next you have the optical audio cable. You'll notice that one end has a long male adaptive plug-in. That's the one that goes into the back of the TV connector. And the other end is the actual connection that goes into the back of the media source, the TV, or a compatible monitor. So let's go ahead and hook up the cables. So I'm using a compatible computer monitor. And on the back of this monitor, you see the various inputs and outputs. What we're looking for in this case is the optical audio or digital audio output. And you'll see that located in the bottom right of this input output panel right here. So again, the end of the fiber optic cable end of the fiber optic cable that has the semi-square connection is the end that's going to plug into that port. So we're just going to go ahead and plug this in. And you feel a little snap as you plug it in. The other end of that optical audio cable will go into the right side port, just like so. You'll see the power cable also has a specific shape to it, so make sure that you line that up correctly. To help you, to help you, you'll notice that there's the USB symbol on the part of the cable that faces up. So when I go to plug this in, that USB symbol is going to be facing up. Now I'm just going to connect the other end to the power supply. Now that we're hooked up to our media source, on the back, you'll notice a green light indicating that we are actively connected. If I unplug the fiber optic cable, that light changes to red, indicating that we are not connected to that audio source any longer. To connect to the compatible pair of Phonak Marvel hearing aids, we start with the hearing aids in the off position, battery doors are open. If you can have the devices in your ears and then power them on by closing the battery doors, you will get an audible indicator when you have a successful connection with the TV connector. What we're going to do in this case is just turn the hearing aids on by closing the battery doors. We want to make sure that the devices are within one meter of the TV connector and once the hearing aids have powered themselves on, 
We're simply going to push the connect button. And if you had been wearing the hearing aids, as soon as it switched back from blinking blue to green, you would have heard that audible connection tone inside the hearing aids. And it would happen in both the right and the left. At this point, if you're within range of the TV connector and there is audio coming through the television or other audio source, you will indeed be hearing that inside the hearing aids. Now some devices can be set up to automatically pick up the TV audio stream and some devices can be set to pick it up manually. Talk to your audiologist or hearing instrument specialist about how your devices are set up.